Hey there, everybody. That here and welcome back to that please Rim World Anomaly. We have all the anomalies that are necessary to awaken the monolith. Now, that doesn't mean we have all the anomalies. You can see there's like five of them here we have not yet seen. Did not, you know what? I did not like the uh, metal horrors. Apparently, it will eventually enter a low energy hibernating state if left undisturbed. Well, that's interesting. Didn't realize that. Huh. I wonder if there's another way to emerge them that would leave them undisturbed. Interesting nonetheless. I don't like the Revenant, though. The Revenant making the metal horror was uh, a thing. Um, but yeah, other than that, the rest of these were pretty fun. Does it automatically pause the game when I go in here? Apparently it does. Huh. I mean, I guess I get it. But all right, if you want to. I am curious as to what those other advanced ones are. Plus, we have uh, Bree over here who needs to uh, be converted. And honestly, this is just easier to do it this way. Because more people will work on it. Perrin can now do the converting. So let's go ahead and just do another conversion dance. There you go. Just speeds it up even more. Yeah, we'll get Bree converted. We'll get um, Elboyo over here converted. She can maybe join us and do some plant work. Maybe. And then we'll have a good time. Still is over here. Learning us... Uh, what are you learning us? Grab that book again. Tox gas. Yeah, 50 an hour. We have more sheep now, by the way. Oh, yeah, we, had, we got sheep last time, by the way. Just letting you know that. All right. I mean, you know, we're, we're going to get that research without actually actively researching it at this rate, which is great. Honestly, those books, this officially putting this into regular rim world was great. Great concept. Thank you for adopting it, Tynan. Now, why would you have to adopt the Revenant idea? Nah, I'll, I'll drop it, I promise. Eventually. Probably not today, but eventually. And it's honestly... It's one of those things where it sucks the first time you see it. But now I know what it is. I know... I have an idea of what to do. It's just... You have to have a lot of colonists. Because if you have, like, three people and the Revenant shows up twice, you're done. If it shows up thrice, you're literally done. You just have to sit and wait around until the man in black shows up. And what fun is that? You, you remember fun, right? Used to be the goal of video games. I don't know what the goal is now. Um, it has been suggested that, you know, I could just... You know, honestly, this is a solid suggestion. Actually, you know, I, I was going to say I could just, like, put these two here and then connect this over here and boom, we get more space. But why don't I just do it up here? I feel like this makes more sense. Just uh, connect it here, and that way, this is also now officially part of the colony. All right, and we'll throw open the plastic auto door right here. But we'll throw conduits up to there. But that's that's an easy thing, you know. This just uh, you, actually we can run it right up here now. It's gonna be beautiful, beautiful, absolutely full of beauty. Okay, and then we just uh, allow this to be something. The suggestion was for it to be a prison, which is not the worst suggestion in the world, to be honest with you. I don't know if I want to do that with it, but I could do that with it. And that's the important part. I mean, it's my, you know, it's, I'm, I'm playing. I can do whatever I want, but still, I don't need to keep this intact. I can do whatever I want with this building. You know, they didn't care. They just wanted it built. They wanted to say, hey. Did you build that building yet? And I say, yeah, I did. And they were like, good, here's some free stuff. Kind of hard to beat that deal, you know? Do I really want to take on a bandit camp with three Neanderthals? And I, I, I cannot believe there are turrets there. I mean, I guess healing factors would be nice. But let's accept it. We have 21 days. That is very far away. So we have an eclipse. That means no, no rice. Which is too bad, because it's so close to being grown. But it's September, so as long as the eclipse doesn't last an entire quadrum, we should be able to grow that rice. The corn, I'm a bit more concerned about. More harbinger trees. Sweet. Bree has decided to hide in her room. Well, it's a 
a pretty small room, so thanks for the free catharsis. All right, uh, did I put in the conduit yet? I did not. Let's do that. Run this all the way over here. And you know, just for uh, the sake of, uh, because we can, let's just run it all the way down here too. You know, we can keep the other, no, we should tear down this wall, I think. We don't need the extra wall now. I mean, there's an argument for it, but I'm not sure we need it. So I'm gonna take it down. Yeah, I'm gonna take down this extra wall. I am gonna move this proximity detector though. So now we can have it right here and then, dang, Fillmore, that was fast, dude. I'm wasting no time over. Then we'll have another one like right here where there's just a little bit of overlap. And then of course we get a zit. That is of course when we get the zit. We get all clever. We're like, hey, let's, you know, let's go ahead and get some more uh, power going, um, or more space going, and all that good stuff. And then it's, and Cassie's like, nope. Nope. Please. Please suffer. If you'll do me that favor. Oh, gamer. I want you to suffer. But you know what? With the rain comes the wind. And with the wind comes the power. And with the power comes the people. And with the people comes the victory. This raccoon is very dead. I mean, I could throw up a thing over here to harvest or, you know, do stuff with it. But I don't, I don't know, man. When did they, what, wow, we have a lot of trees now. Okay, you know, maybe we just keep feeding these two trees so they send out extra tendrils and we chop down every other tree. I think that's... What the hell are you doing here? Ugh, now we're going to have to hunt this. And it's going to be tough because it's big and tough. All right, get over here. Bale, I'm not, I don't want you to fire this thing. Wow, that was the shortest eclipse in the world, man. It's already over. What was even the point? Let me slate flagstone up to here, please. There you go. Hey, we're done. All right, we officially have all the plastic. Should I keep this surrounded by plasteel? I think so. I think so. I could be wrong, but I think so. All right. Go ahead and do the needful here. Get mad. Get dead. Good shot. Who did that? Who did this? Snipe, living up to his name. Good stuff, man. I don't know where you went after that, but that's okay. You, you can disappear. You did your job. Masculine, you're, you're, you don't hide outside the colony, please. That's foolish. Some stumps over here. It's not the ideal form of wood, but it's a form of wood. We have 500 wood. Yeah, we could use more. Having a nice stockpile is, is a good thing, you know. There you go. Meat. That's one way to get it. That's one way to get a good deal of it. Okay, so Bree has the catharsis. Yep. The only problem with that is it means that her, you know, belief might go up again. Dude, there are so many mega sloths on this, in this colony. Well, in the vicinity of the colony. I should really do something about that. Mainly Ufum. Right, another 600 wood. Nice, nice, nice. How are we doing, Pillamore? You decided that uh, you found something that needs to die? Oh, I was looking the wrong way. That's a distress signal. It's coming from over here. Hmm. I mean, we could go. I don't know if it's smart. In fact, I don't think it is. But we could go. So at this point, I kind of want to move this over and maybe put another pod. I mean, we have two pods. That's 300 kilograms. That's uh, a couple of peeps. Like, I could send you know, a snipe and I feel like at this point we need more guns. 
Okay, I said snipe, chillings, sigh, and glitch. And then, like, I don't know. Mmm, Pillamore. There you go. Load him up with, uh, apparently all the pemmican. Huh. Didn't think we'd be able to grab all of it, but apparently we can. Load him up. Let's go somewhere and do something. I mean, I could go there, but I'm thinking we take out the, uh, Disbeetles. Get ourselves the Healing Factors tech print. Just do everyone up with, uh, Will of Healing. Okay. We could also check this out, but that one I'm a little bit concerned about. We drop the edge of the map over here and see what we got. We're gonna build new pods because we're gonna need to send them more fuel eventually. Okay. It's, I just feel like we sent half our colony to this. That wasn't very cash money of us, but whatever. Let's go. Let's go together. We should be fine, though. It's like, you know, five against three. How bad could it be? Are, is there any, any components on this map? There aren't. Okay, so I have to send components. I see, like, maybe I can break some of this stuff down for steel. I don't remember for sure. Glitch side, move up. Hell, wow, absorb that arrow just in time. That was awesome. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, come on. The ear shot. All right. There you go. Get hamster. Hey, Glitch, you want to help? I mean, maybe you don't, but you should. That's what I'm getting at. Size down. Size up. Size still up. Come on, get that hamster. Hamster's down. Okay. Anything glitch, you go check. Oh, you got a melee attack? No, you don't. Uh, actually, oh, I can get it over here. Check that door. See what you got. Okay. Let's go ahead and take down the sandbags. Okay, we can't take down the uh, cages? Apparently not. Just a little bit of pemmican, huh? All right. Oh, we're just getting cloth from that. That's right. I feel like ah, it must be something. It was probably something modded. I feel. I was gonna say. I feel like there's some kind of defensive barrier that took steel and cloth. But maybe I'm losing my mind. Wouldn't be anything new. Pillamore's ear has to be patched up. Is there anyone here that can do? Uh, chillings can kind of do. I guess I'll have him do that. Uh, he doesn't have a place to do that. That, I guess, makes it the problem. Um, I mean, he's in no immediate danger. Maybe he'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, it healed up a little bit by itself. And it didn't completely destroy the ear, you know? Uh, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. We're going to need to send stuff. That sucks. But it is what it is. I did not send all of my construction workers. Okay, I didn't. No, they're just sleeping. They're just sleeping. Don't worry about it, okay? Don't flip out. Sai, thankfully, will heal himself. That's what he do. Yeah, he's fine. He's let it bleed out a bit. It's good for you. It's good for you. Uh, combat supplier. Boxin Securities. Aaron, when you're done, whatever you're doing, chilling, I guess. Go, go check them out. Okay. So, remind myself. What do I need? 50 and 1. So, that's 102. And then 120. So, 220 and 4. Got it. 220 steel and 4 components. Where the heck's my steel? There it is. How much can I load up? 295. Perfect. I can load it all in the one. I love it when a... Hey. Hey there, trader. How you doing? Love it when a plan comes together. Why does every trader buy these seeds? I really don't have any idea. I could sell this hand talon, and I kind of want to. 
I'm not gonna sell a bionic eye. I actually kind of forgot I made it. Uh, it was a while ago, and it was it was a different time. Uh, let's see, what could I buy? A Balti, a Pumpy, a Hellcat, a Sniper. We could make all these too, though. You know, can't make the triple rocket launcher, but it's just a triple rocket launcher. We could try to get stuff to buy the Phoenix armor. I mean, that's cool. It has a flame bolt launcher, of course. It must be reloaded after every use with 40 chem fuel. Hmm. It also reduces flammability by 68%. That's kind of nice. Can I make that? I should see if I can make that at some point. Um, let's sell the bandoliers for cash. I like cash. Cash is good. And we can make more bandoliers. And then we'll get more cash. It's a beautiful cycle. Not vicious at all. Yeah, just send me those. Thank. All right. How, how you doing, Pillamore? Are you bleeding out? No, you're not. You're actually healing up. Blood loss is minor. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. We're gonna do the conversion dance on Bree. There you go. Down to 35%. Transport pods are loaded. Transport pod materials are coming. I forgot to send the chem fuel. How much did it take uh, for that launch? Let's see. 40, 46. Gotcha. So go ahead and please. There you go. Forty-six chem fuel. Oh my gosh, I probably could have fit it in the same pod too. I am not smart. Oh right, it's because it was literally right there. It's like yeah, cool. Okay, build new pods. What a great, fantastic waste of materials that was. Wait, where's the rest of it? Where's the rest of the stuff? Did it already arrive? Am I losing my mind? Probably. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Okay. Yes, mind was lost. I found it. Okay. All right, let's do it. A couple of transport pods, please. I would rather them be adjacent so they can be launched as one. Okay, when you get the chance. The chance is now. All right. Yeah, that, that ear will heal up. It'll be fine. Uh, you put it all in one. Crap. Okay. I should have thought of that. Now I have to send more over to the other one. Wait. No, I can't deconstruct it because I'll lose half the material. People, please. <laughs> please. Uh, and you, you know, I, I needed... I need 46 twice anyway, because actually I am going to need to load them both. But yeah, this one's set to 46. This one can now be done up very quickly. Again, wasted materials, but that's that's life on the rim, baby. We can always get more camp fuel. Camp fuel's easy to get more of. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Go ahead and make the pod, and then we can go home. Beautiful. Load up. Load up the pods. With everybody here. We can hold... Oh, right, right, right. Uh, it's freaking... Really wish you could set it to be able to find stuff outside of stockpile zones. Okay, we can bring 10 kilograms worth of something. Which is apparently all of the pemmican and all of the potatoes. And all of the cloth. And really, what else do you need? We'll take the bows because we can sell them and as much wood as we can carry. All four of it. Let's go, baby. All right. Grab some free stuff. Get the heck out. That's taken a surprisingly long time. Chillings is in a really bad mood right now. He's still upset over this academic role thing, even though he's now the leader of the colony. But like a, the ideologian, officially. He's still all but heard about it. Uh, caravan detected? Oh, which? No, no, 2.7 days. Someone's going to show up and beat us up. 
Everyone hold on to your butts. We're going home, so who cares? Oh, that was more than enough. Hmm. We could head down here if we wanted, but I don't. Right now, I want, uh, I want chillings to chill out. Okay. Sai, you just crashed through the roof. Why did we let him drive? It's fine. All right, we're home. We're home. Chillings, go ahead. Have a nice meal. There you go. That's going to... It. Oh, yeah, the cages. They didn't like that. Terrible sight. I also slept on the ground once. And outside once. It's okay. Sooner he goes to sleep, though, he'll be fine. He decided to read a book instead. He really wanted to learn about plants and social. Really chills him out. I mean, as you can see, it's helping. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. Snipe? He'll be very fine. Yeah, everyone's gonna be good. Wait, who else? Pillamore. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. He'll be fine. He's gonna wake up. He'll be like, hey, it's good. You know? We did what we needed to do. And we did it pretty damn well. And it's good. Life is good. For the most part. All right. This is why I gave you a sniper. Okay, I just died a little bit there. But this is why I gave you a sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Yep, that's what I'm calling it now. That's why I gave you a sniper rifle. Feel more. Okay. It worked out beautifully, might I say. Bree, how's how's this going? You still believe in this the weird Cree thing where you can't use even good drugs? That blows my mind. 32 to 31? Chillings, are you even trying? I know you're not the, uh... I know you're not the... academic anymore, but still. I'm thinking you'd try a little bit harder than that. Yeesh. Alright, we're running a little... And I don't want to say low on steel, although, yeah, you could say it's low on steel. We could have more steel. That's the point. It is more steel. Even more steel. Yeah, let's... Ooh, even more steel. Yeah, let's get all this steel mined out. It's a bit of a scary place to have to walk to to get to it. But it'll be fine. Probably. Is anyone even working on this thing? When was the last time someone was scanning the ground? Starship reactors researched. It's pretty good. It's actually the most expensive one here. Go ahead and do the JT drive, I guess. But... The reactor, of course, the good thing about that is you get all the stuff for it, you put it down, it's a free 1,000 power. The only problem with it is it takes like 2 million years to uh, get all the materials and build it. But, and it also takes up like 2 million parsecs worth of space. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I mean, it, it's kind of very redundant because we have this now. Was it always this big? Did they make it bigger? Or am I losing my mind? I don't recall it being this big, but I could totally be wrong. This I recall being this big. So yeah, I'm probably just losing my mind. Am I? No, I don't recall this being this big. Did they embiggen all the ship stuff when I wasn't paying attention? I mean, to be fair, that could literally be any time at any point in history that I wasn't paying attention. But I feel like something happened there. Anyway, everyone's in a good mood again, for the most part. Glitch and Sai have all the meat they can eat. We have all of the, uh, all of those muffalo have been done up. We have rice. We're gonna have corn. We got kibble and hay. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. How many shards do we have? Three? We should be imbuing some death rituals. Re re refusal rituals. Yeah, that this. At least on... Wait, uh, yeah, let's... We'll wait till Breeze out. And then she could do it with newfound fervor. But, uh, at least on Chillings and Perrin, because they have the special roles. And then maybe on other people, too. I don't want to do chronophagy right now. I just don't. 
You can't make me. Uh, let's go ahead and take down these columns. These columns are not necessary for a room this small. Also, we can embiggen this whole area now. This is all home, baby. Look at our home. It's so big and wonderful. And slaty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So I, I'm also going to go ahead and put the slate flagstone here and here because it bothers me that it's not. I don't know why they don't feel the nece it necessary to put flooring under the doors, but none of the structural like quests do that. And it bothers the heck out of me. Okay, so let's 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 do what I was talking about doing. Let's go ahead and I don't know if we have over a thousand wood. We're fine. Let's go ahead and uh, do up a prison OB, like a different prison. I don't want to say a proper prison, but the only problem with this one is, of course, if it gets filled up uh, and there's a prison break, uh, there's going to be quite the break. But it might not be the worst thing in the world. It's also closer to the ritual site, so I can just put someone over here and, you know, do what I need to with them. After all, how are they going to break out of prison when they only can use 30% of their brain because the rest of it's been psychically melted? Are we the baddies? Nah. No, no, no. What, are you crazy? No, this is... Ah. Is this satire? No. You think this is making fun of us? No, it's actually the literal coolest thing ever. Um, Four prisoners. Hey, it's a mediocre prison barracks, which is actually better than these. <laughs> to be fair. I could open this up and make it a prison barracks. I don't want to. Prison break interval, 36 days. I feel like you've been here more than that. That could be wrong. I could be wrong. And I might be. I don't know anymore. But there you go. Yeah, now we have extra prison space. And someday we'll use it. It's a 26%. I don't think anyone is using this. How are we doing on anomalous research? This is the last thing we have available to research. There's still four other things to learn. So once that's done, we'll have time to do other things. Like this, mainly this. I would love to find some underground steel somewhere where we can put a deep drill within the walls. But even a Persona Core offer. Ryan of Western Hados uh, offers you the location of a Persona Core. But you need to build a spaceship. It's quite rare. Call them on the comms console if you're interested. I mean... Maybe? Maybe. That's the best I'm going to give you right now. I might be interested. Not even sure. All right. You know, we got mini turrets and I never built them. I just never bothered. And I could put mini turrets on the outside. But would it be worth it? I mean, maybe. It, they do take up power, though. How much power do they take up again? 80 watts each? I mean, that's probably doable. Do you think these traps would work well on the Shamblers? I kind of wonder if they would. We could also consider getting mortars for the Shamblers. That would probably work out well. We could also get foam turrets for the Shamblers. That wouldn't do anything. I don't know why I would do that. And it needs to be rearmed with chem fuel, so I don't know why I would do that. Uh, okay, do another conversion dance, please. Get danced on. <laughs> Alright. 21 to 12%. We're getting there. We're getting there. She got styled on and everyone had a good time. Perrin has the research on uh, the JT drive. It's coming. It's coming. Maybe we should stop with the regular research for a bit. Turn this off. There. Go do this. This is what I want. There you go. That's the sauce. That's what I want done right now. Okay, that's an extra 250. Actually, turn this off, too. It's a 200 power that I can, you know, divert to other interest. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Gore Hulks or Hulkin? 
They're giving us the bioferrite. Which we do need for the serum, so, you know, to be fair, it's still useful. For sure, for sure. Yo! Wow. I'm doing a lot of work down here. Let's watch out for the bugs. This is all potential bug area. Brian, why are you mining with a skill of four? I, mean, I guess it's because it's on your docket, but... Captheus is idle, so I guess it makes sense that you do that. Come on, team. Let's get the stuff. Let's, let's get some more underground stuff. I need it. Actually, at this point, can I just... Maybe I can just keep the floodlights on. Turn them on. What do they take up? Like, 50 power each? How much power do we have over here at night? Minus nine? Well, that depends on the wind, of course. We should be fine, though. We'll definitely be fine over here. Especially when we have all these running full blast. That helps. That helps. Yeah, can't pretend it doesn't. But yeah, yeah, keep it lit, fam. Actually, let's keep this area up here lit, too, fam. Yeah, one more up here. Just to be safe. Hello, Zihan Martin. How you doing? A civil servant. Oh, hey, there's all this that I completely forgot about. How you doing, friendo? You don't have anything to trade? Wow, that's okay. A solar flare and mad squirrels literally simultaneously. Uh, okay. Well, all the squirrels are outside the colony. So, I just have to keep us in. And, of course, Fran's down here. Home area, please. Fran, you're gonna need to get moving. I'm gonna put you in draft mode. And I'm also have Sai and Glitch come down here as well. Try to meet you over here. Solar flare just means no electricity for a bit. Supplies for white stream. They want 530 heavy fur. Do we have that? We have any heavy fur. We have blue fur, guinea pig fur, human leather. Why do we? Never mind. The light leather, bird skin, lizard skin. Heavy. We have 311. Ooh, we could do this. I think if we just hunt all the rest of the. Um, the Mega Sloths will have that. Okay, the squirrels are going that way. Come on. That's like we're going to tactically go around the squirrel situation. Well done, everybody. Yeah, you can just fight the squirrel from here. I mean, how many are there? There's two left. Just wait for him at this point, right? Yeah, there's this one. Come on. Fight me. And then there's this one left. That one's not dead, but it's close enough. Come at me, bro. 2v1 me. I'm not scared. Tox gas is done. We weren't even researching that. Love it. Okay, eat the squirrels. I guess. Might as well. Get this one out of the hallway, though. Get it. Okay. Let's bring the Fabulous Five and let's go take out some Mega Sloth. Okay. I want you all together for this one. I do want the fire this time because I want to make sure that it doesn't charge us. At least not effectively. There you go. That's what I want. Get it. Eat it. Whatever you're going to do with it. Uh, there's several of them in the colony right now or in the vicinity okay, next one's over here let's get them hello there mega sloth uh, a little bit farther away please hello there mega sloth friend how you doing sorry to do this for you it's not business it's just personal come on get them sniped there you go that's the stuff then maybe the one up here, and then it'll be done. Oh, and also, everyone go outside the uh, home area again. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Uh, thankfully, it's still a little cold in here. No, they're unrefrigerated. It's not cold enough. So, I'm not thankful for anything right now. In fact, I hate everything. No, I'm thankful again. Everything's great. Yeah, I love it. Love life. Life's good. There we go. 
Dude, this incinerator has been such a magnificent hunting tool. I mean, you can't take it by itself to hunt with. Oh, he's ravenously hungry. Well, then go eat a raven. Yeah, go, go eat a raven. Let's see. And there's like one more left over there. Or two more, actually. Well, that's fine. They can, they can have fun. Let's see. Get the bucks and the does and the... Was the gazelles too? Yeah. Go hunt is basically what I'm trying to say. All right. Someone go carve up these uh, beasties so we can get the heavy fur over. There it is. Okay. So who was asking for the heavy fur? White stream, which is right. Dude, that's a free neuroformer. Load it up. Yeah, that's how you spell heavy, with a G. You didn't know this? 419. Okay, we need a little bit more. Bam. Now we should have enough, right? 427. All right, a little bit more. We literally need three more. And I know there's a me another Mega Sloth, right? We're going to have to hunt another one? Ugh, fine, we'll do what we got to do. Okay, come over here. Get it. Oh, wait, get closer together, please. I would like less friendly fire. Dang it, it left. Where's the other one? Over here. Come on, come on. Don't let this one leave. Ooh, not, that's a little too close. Don't let this one leave. Okay, we got the fire. It's a panicking Anakin. Oh, it's getting a little close, though. There you go. Woo, that was close. Finish it. We need to be dead dead. Actually, no, wait. We can just put a hunting order on it and someone will just come up here and oop it. Eventually. I was going to say, don't stand next to the fire. Hunt this. Literally, all you have to do is that. And then someone can bring it in and do it up. Okay. There. Now someone do up that uh, Mega Sloth, please. Today, if possible. No, it's not going to happen today. It's fine. Oh, there's, there are two. Oh, They're hugging. They're also dead. So, yeah, take that as you will. Jalings, you're going to get up first. Get up. Butcher. I know you're going to be hungry, but you can butcher when you're... When you, Wait, you can eat when you've done butchering. That's what I meant to say. Three, what's the numbers looking like? 5.7. I'm actually wondering which one of you two is going to be converted first. It might depend on con the convert over here. At this rate. All right. He's doing the needful. He's very hungry about it. He probably just walked past all that food and was like, oh my gosh, I want this so much. But I want to eat it so much. There you go. Oh, Balboyo. There you go. That answers the question. Okay. Good stuff. That's done. Go eat. Yeah. Also, kibble. Let's unsuspend the kibble orders for now so we can turn some of this meat into kibble. All right. Load up 530 heavy fur. And we'll send it on over. Make the trade. Send a caravan with the crest requested items. I got your caravan right here. Okay. How much steel do we have now? 1275. That's actually less than I thought we'd have. Oh, that's probably why. We're not done. We'll be done eventually. All right. Well, you've been converted. So I guess you can now. Uh, I don't want to. Look, I want to recruit you. Okay. That's the next step. Bree, you're so close to being converted. Just just convert. Join us. That's all I ask. Alright. I'm gonna put a... I'm gonna go ahead and grab a size 1 shelf. As soon as I find one. There you go. Is that faster than going into my architect menu? Probably not. That's already occupied? What's there? Okay, so I'll put it right here. What did I put there? Oh, the trade beacon. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to say load that up with hay. 
two shambles. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. We'll deal with it. Okay. Launch. Give as gift to Red Hill Union. You cannot complete trade requests by using transport pods. You used to be able to. So, thanks for nothing, game. Just have to make things more difficult, huh? Well, I guess I'm not getting that Neuroformer because I don't feel like it. No, I'm keeping my heavy fur. We'll be over here in nice heavy fur parkas. Well, you enjoy the Neuroformer you're apparently not using. Am I mad? No, I'm upset. Is that the same thing? I mean, no. I mean, yes, but that's not the point. Okay, these are both set to critical. Uh, Let's set this to important so that we will move it down here. That way we can, you know, make kibble faster because, well, I mean, this speaks for itself, doesn't it? Bale has dark visions again. Because of his unsightly environment. Ah, well. Uh, sorry guys, I changed our mind. No deal. I mean, to be fair, it kind of makes sense. They're a tribal group, so they wouldn't be able to send it back. It didn't say that in part of the... In, in the drop-down, though. I don't think it did. It's fine. I'll deal. But yeah, it does make sense for a tribal. Okay. Well... It's alright. I don't want to walk over there, and I don't think... Here's the thing. If I had the Psionics Expanded mod, that Neuroformer would totally be worth it. But... The Royalty Psionics kind of suck. Bree's been converted. Thank goodness. All we have to do is release you and you're good to go. So, it's not worth the caravan trip. And it sucks that that's true, but it's true. Okay, we finally let you out. If you had cabin fever, you can now go hang out outside and get rid of that. Trapped indoors. Yeah, it's going to go down. You immediately went to mining, which puts you <laughs> underground again. <laughs> Uh, okay, whatever. Hey, the Shambler died and it dropped a shard. Sweet. The freest shard we ever got. Good stuff. Bale, why is your mood so terrible? Ravenously hungry and tired. I was gonna say, go eat a food, dude. Jeez. Alright, well. Now that Bree's back, that was kind of the goal of this episode. That is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld Anomaly. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Because, uh, well, we're going to deal with a mech sunblocker, so I guess we're going to drop a pot over there. <sighs> Cassie, you just can't leave me alone. But we'll deal with that next time. Thanks again for watching this episode of RimWorld Anomaly. My name is Thet. Uh, you go grab your auto pistol. That's the weapon we were looking for, and I will see you in the next video. Everybody owes.